coverage you can count on continues. This is News 8 at 11 in HD. Painkiller Nation. New concerns tonight that we are addicted to popping pills. It is the top story this Thursday night. If you took a little something tonight, you're not alone. Doctors say we are downing painkillers. 16 times more than we were just 10 years ago. Tonight, News 8's Pete Montine talked to the experts about what's going on. Pete. Janelle, the numbers don't lie. Hospitals, pharmacies, and physicians gave out more than 100 tons of the key ingredient in painkillers, that's codone, in 2010. Put that in perspective, that is enough to give nearly 45 milligram tablets of Percocet and 24 5 milligram tablets of Vicodin to every man, woman, and child in the United States. Doctors say that that is a dangerous trend. This is music to an addict's ears, but not to doctors. We are prescribing more medications. Over the past decade, it has really uh, escalated. Monavi Reddy is a pain management physician at Lancaster General Health Campus. She says when it comes to painkiller abuse, doctors are the gatekeepers. These days, they spend more time talking with their patients, deciding if a prescription is the right treatment. It's not a surprise at all. And in fact, many practices have now tailored um, their, the way we prescribe these medications. There's a lot more monitoring that goes on now. Alarming. Very, very high rate of drug use among the people that shouldn't be having it. But pharmacists like Charlie Smithgall have seen the number of prescriptions spike. More dock in a box clinics have popped up, making it hard to know what is legitimate. A lot of the painkillers are using larger quantities all the time, and uh, younger people are getting them, and you just have to be careful. One way doctors have been fighting the trend, they've begun prescribing different types of drugs to make patients less prone to becoming addicted. We try to get people off of the short acting medicines that they end up having to take every three to four hours because you are more likely to, uh, you know, kind of develop that craving. The problem of it is, is the honest people that have pain are the ones who are going to pay the price in the future. There's no uh, stereotype. It could be the 70 some year old retired senior citizen or it could be the 30 year old minister um, and may not be the person who comes in with the tattoos and smokes and you think oh my gosh you know and this is the person I'm afraid of that will become addicted. Some of those warning signs to look out for if you fear somebody you know is becoming a painkiller addict. He or she may be taking the medication more frequently than recommended. Also taking pills for another reason besides pain, such as depression. And taking medication that was prescribed for another person is another telltale sign. Janelle, we've set up a link to our website, WGAL.com, a questionnaire that doctors use to tell if you're at risk. Boy, everybody just wants to feel better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, Pete.